Okay, so I'm making up another stair nose. And we've got it all clamped up nice and tight. Five clamps, one every eight to ten inches, twelve inches. Okay, the unknown mechanic and I just finished making this top bull nose for the stairway, and uh, this is all handcrafted. What we had to do was make a bull nose, and the way we made it was we had to take two pieces of flooring and the bottom underside piece we cut the groove out of this end and the tongue off this end and it is an inch and three quarters wide and uh, we needed it inch and three quarters to come out here so that it would act as a stair nose on the uh, staircase but also to have ten and a half inches of space between the edge of this stair nose and the edge of that the new stair nose so what we did here is we glued and clamped these two boards together and then we routed out a gr uh, groove into each of these mitered corners and you can just see the um, uh, spline spline that we fit in there it's a real nice tight fit glued everything all together and we also have a three inch construction screw on it there and that pulls the two s screw comes in this way so it's pulling them f together flat and we have it on both sides you can just see it there but yeah so anyway this worked out really well okay go ahead and Stuff it in position, and look at that fit, like a glove. And that fit better than O.J. Simpson's glove. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Um, everything is holding together really nicely. The screw, the spline, and then uh, the returns. And then another thing we did too is we took a router, a half round quarter round route bit and rounded the top and bottom face of the stair nose and then uh, we'll take some putty and fill that hole that hole is a, um, a machining mark that is part of the uh, stairs you see there's the hole there and we just happened to glue them right together on top of each other and that's why we have a round hole so anyway and then <laughs> we have the little return wing here just to kind of add a little bit of a detail to this top of the stairs make it look like it uh, uh, it just makes it look nicer <clears throat> so okay that is uh, it and uh, now we are going to start putting in stairs we Floor. start Floor. here or yeah floor flooring Thank you for that correction. Sometimes you just uh, need it. So we start here and then we will work back into the wall here and into the bedroom there and down the hallway and bedroom over there and the bedroom out there. But we start here and then uh, we'll end up with some mystery width of board there that we'll have to carry through on the wall. But, uh, yeah, we'll deal with it. Okay, so there you go. Ain't she a beauty. So here is what we're doing to start our first row off of the uh, opening, or the bullnose for the stairway. You see how we have the stairway bullnose there returning into the walls. And what's going to happen is there will be some decorative posts coming up on either side of it and then uh, so what we have here is we've got um, some L nails in the uh, leading edge of the stair nose and 
Dave was backing that while I was standing on it and then nailing it with the floor nailer. So we've got uh, four nails going across that and two in each end. That uh, trowel blade there is to back the wall so that when we hit it, it goes into a metal piece to give it more uh, resistance. But anyway, we have uh, first piece laying across here and uh, what we have to do on this piece here off the stair all the way down there into the bedroom all the way across we need to make spline which uh, the unknown mechanic has graciously grabbed real, real quick for this purposes of demonstration grab that piece of wood and so as you can see we have the tongue is on this side going forward, but we can't nail into the tongue of it here because it would go into the groove. So what we do is we have the groove and groove meeting and then we make some spline and that goes here. So then we, this board is nailed into the bull nose here. You see there's a nail. Then we'll put the spline in here and we will nail that way. And then we will nail into the tongue the rest of the way into the tile here. And uh, so same thing there. We uh, install normally going out the rest of the way this way in this bedroom and that bedroom. And then from this uh, starter board, then we put spline all the way across turn the boards around and nail in from the other direction. So just a little thing you need to know to install oak flooring. All right, and then this here is the, uh, what is a felt liner, felt backer? Wool. Wool, okay, so it's a dense wool backer and um, it's actually supposed to make the floors feel warmer and it does definitely quiet things down. Actually, I'm sorry, it's not wool. What? It's Crumb rubber, crumb from rubber, recycled tires is what I read. Okay, well that's uh, recycling is good. Okay. Okay, so Mitch has it all nailed together. Put some glue in there. And it's done. Um, there you go. That is what Mitch was working on. The return. It actually did turn out pretty good, didn't it? For the fireplace mantle, well, yeah. Professional, so. Yeah. If you look at the corner, the joint, you can see the wood strip that had to be cut out so that the corner could be full-sized, but it had to go into the straight piece of wood. And that is the custom piece Mitch had to work on. So this is uh, looking at the oak floor, and you see the very proud Mitch okay you can see we have uh, started coming down the hallway here now we've got our custom made bullnose at the top step here we've made a little piece to go in the threshold of the door to the bathroom We had to put a reversing spline here, and now we're nailing them this way, and out here, we're nailing them that way. And what is a reversing spline? That is a reversing spline. Um, let's see how all of these boards, the tongue of the board is going this direction, but back here, it's on the groove side of the board so we have to put 
a piece of spline that we make into the groove and that reverses the board so that now we can take a board and instead of going this way we go that way and you see how it fits right onto the spline or in this board's case taps on but so that's what happens and so from this side here we go that direction and from this side here we go that direction <clears throat> And nobody will know the difference. That is our uh, wool underlayment. It's kind of nice. It softens, deadens. It uh, it's almost nothing, but you really feel it. All right. The floor nailer man is um, cutting off the tongue on this piece of uh, oak. Beca or tambura because we need to put a uh, groove in here so you see how the groove is on the end there and we need to come to the end because it's butting into the stairway so I will give the unknown cameraman the camera and uh, I will grab the router start in the middle this time no I gotta start the way I started so we have the router here, and you see this here bit is a um, quarter inch groove bit for flooring. So let me put my uh, glasses on while the unknown cameraman is plugging in the router. It is now not safe to hook the router and uh, touch the bit at the same time. Okay, so we are going to just gently plunge into the wood here right at the end. Hang on a second. Let me put it against the saw. Okay. okay. And uh, let it rip. And there you go. We have a perfect groove routed into the wood. Okay, so let's uh, run upstairs here and uh, we'll put it in place and show you the marvel of modern tooling. <clears throat> See how nice this is all turning out. Okay, so we put the groove in, tilt it in, and well, I think it's the door jam there. It's right here. It's yeah, yeah, and it fits just right. So then grab the floor nailer hammer and tap it this way. Okay, so press down more and more and more and more gently, gently, gently. Eighth inch. Okay. Yeah, that don't no. That, yeah, that's good. Now hit it uh, inward to the, onto the tongue. Hit it on the tongue. Yeah, because you don't want to. Um, uh, so we don't want to hit hard into this. We don't want this being driven outward. <clears throat> Everything's good. Okay, so this is ready for nailing. Is that butted? Yep. Yeah, this it's butted. Good. Yeah. So that's one of the things about uh, this pre manufactured wood, uh, Bella wood, is uh, when you do a real oak floor, you sand and putty everything flat and smooth. And with this stuff here, it's pre finished, and so you're kind of stuck with what the way get. it is, have what you get. And so that's kind of why all these edges are beveled over and, um, you know, you Not end up with uh, uh, things in the wood that uh, it doesn't line up. One of our favorites is, uh, let me sneak by you here, one of our favorite ones is this one here. 
where it's just uh, you know the machining of the wood somebody at the factory um, got it uh, out this one. This one and here. this one oh yeah and then you see we have slightly different thicknesses of wood width width yeah and uh, so uh, that's one of the things if you do real wood floors you can sand it out and putty it and everything looks flat and smooth and when you do with a pre-finished floor you're just stuck with it at the mercy of how well they machined it in the factory okay um you want me to nail that or in the doorway okay you can get it okay edit so oh yeah uh so yeah, nobody ever really gets to see me working because uh, I'm always the one holding the stupid camera while I'm doing the work and then I have to videotape it. So there's our manual floor nailer and I like these better than the pneumatic ones because it packs the wood together. So we put a hit in there. get to a tight side like this that's where your right foot comes in handy and your back swing and there you go okay and then the uh, unknown mechanic is going to finish the rest of the way with the finish nailer air nailer and it's really all that you can do Here push that together is because uh, high bar. Yeah, uh, this will work. Did. Keep slipping. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Two hands. They're too close to the ends, though. Good. Uh, well, no, the front. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so that's what you have to do when you get so close to the wall that you can't use the floor nailer anymore. And that's good. And then technically, um, I keep telling him to do it, and he keeps forgetting to do it, is to stand on the piece as you nail it with that to hold oh, it down it, it flat. Sta it was stand down. Yeah, but it did stay down, so. Anyway, okay, uh, we're going to get back to work. <clears throat> We've made this um, long 14-foot piece here of bullnose that we're still in the process of making. Uh, we had to take uh, three seven-foot sections of uh, flooring. One of them we cut into one-inch wide strips here, and this is going to be the lower part of the bullnose. So I'm going to take the router here in a minute, and we're going to route half inch round here and half inch round there and then that will make it uh, a rounded front bullnose but uh, as you can see it came out pretty darn good here it's nice and flat and straight we had uh, about uh, 16 clamps on this thing we had a clamp about every 12 inches and you can see our glue joint is nice and tight on everything here so we will have a couple of uh, tongue and groove joints there that uh, will fill those with some putty. I'm gonna hit the top of this with the planer here to um, flatten it out. And then uh, we need to get these ants out of here. I guess that's as, that's as close as I can get. What are they doing? They're like uh, giving each other a hug or something. One ant is definitely bigger than the other. Okay, so anyway, um, it'll straighten out. Yeah, oh yeah, this is very flat. Look at all the ants on there. Actually, that, that's kind of interesting. I, mean, I wonder if this is like a queen ant or something here. You got, see how the belly is big and these other ants oh, are all uh, in love with it. Mm -hmm. 
Anyway. Okay. Well, let me go get my mask on and gloves. Um. Okay, you can see we have finished routing the uh, bull nose and sanded things out. And so right now we're uh, waiting for Dave to uh, go back over to his place. He's going to eat some lunch and then uh, come back and uh, we're going to put finish on this thing. So yeah, it turned out real good. So a couple of places. See, here's the joint there, and uh, that's full of sawdust right now. We'll put some uh, color match putty in there, and same with here. But yep, worked out really well. Um, and you can see it's fairly flat and straight. Okay, uh, so I'm going to make some lunch now, and um, I guess I can put some tools away here too. We're not going to need these anymore. And the router, there is the bit that I used to put the bull nose in. This is the bit that I used to put the grooves in the wood when we had to reverse and spline. And there is the planer that we used uh, to um, flatten pieces out. And there's the guide that goes on there. Helps hold things flat and square if you need to on narrow pieces. Okay, I'm uh, gonna, oh, and then the good old belt sander. This is like a 3x18, uh, mine is a 4x24. And my belt sander can kick this belt sander's butt any day of the week. But mine also weighs twice or more times as much. Bosh. Okay. This was the last bit of floor that we had to finish in here. This is the loft in the second floor front bedroom. So we put tile there and we have wood floor, um, tambura floor here. We had to make a bull nose for the front of the loft area. And we could only top nail this so these holes will get puttied later and they'll blend in just fine. And you can see we have a nice tight line here to the sheetrock, the wallboard, all the way down. And these are the joints that will get puttied too. So yeah, this was quite the job. Nice to be done. Got the closet here. This bathroom here is all done except for the sink that has to go in. We finished this little den office bed area and those are boards, floorboards that we will need. Apparently we're going to have to custom make all these steps the straight steps and the angled steps at the bottom pie cut so that's going to be fun um, these are nails for the floor nailer i guess this box isn't open so i'm not going to worry about showing that but yeah we had to go into all these little nooks and crannies and we had to do this little closet area here with uh, 45 degree angles on it all right let's uh, turn off the heater 
And that is off. Boy, that air conditioning feels good. Let me turn off the lights in the bedroom here. Okay. And this is the custom sternos that we had to make. This bay window finished here. Let me turn off this air conditioning unit too. Okay. And so about the last things we're going to do before I leave tomorrow are to grout the lines on the tile here and on the wood stove platform maybe hook up that outlet and i believe that is it oh there is this shower that has to be grouted too and so we'll get that done so yeah, this has turned out to be a nice little house, nice project, Mr. and Mrs. Unknown Mechanic will enjoy it. Remember, there is the washing machine stack unit. So okay, that is it for today. Here's the old truck camper. Yeah, it was real nice. We had the Dalton, the West Coast Roller, here for the weekend and drove him around and showed him some of the sights to see. And he camped out here next to the river, put up a tent. The river is a little more clear today. It's been hot. And so the snow is melting on the mountain. The snow level is actually kind of on the low side on the mountain. So, all right, well, it is the end of the day and I'm going to get myself a much needed shower in the truck camper tonight because um, I'm leaving tomorrow and I want to get my tanks all emptied out so that means use up all my fresh water and then go and dump my black and gray tanks and then I will be traveling light all right okay Dave and I just finished grouting this shower and man that was a lot of fun because it was overhead and the sides and around and in the pockets and over here and outside but I tell you it um, looks nice so they have to get their um, sink cabinet in here and put in the medicine cabinet and do the window trims put the door on here for the water heater closet they have the door here and that will look nice very functional three-quarter bath and then we're still waiting on the cabinets for the kitchen it's kind of too bad that uh, the cabinets weren't here while I was here because we could have put them in but uh, I don't know, I might make one more trip down here. Here is the platform for the wood stove. And the chimney will go up there. But, um, yeah, this turned out really nice. There's the hole for the electrical outlet. 
And I'm standing here next to the main split, and let me tell you, it's 96 degrees outside right now, and this feels good. So... I'm going to go home now. See my girl. See my cat. The two things that make me the happiest in this world.